Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're talking about the 100 mil macro RF for Canon. Let's go! The 100 mil macro, this lens right here. Brand new RF 100 millimeter f 2.8 L IS USM macro. This thing, though a mouthful, is fantastic for portraiture. And I know what you guys are thinking: a macro lens for portrait? Yeah. Surprisingly, this thing obliterates background, mainly because of the focal length. It is 100 millimeters, so at 2.8, you get really smooth bokeh because it is so punched in. It's kind of like a 105, but I wouldn't compare it to the Sigma 105 f1.4 based on that being a completely different class of its own. But for what this makes for Canon, the amount of detail, lackluster chromatic aberration, and the fact that it is just tack sharp renders such clean images from the camera that you're using. This lens is so good that I have used it for a few portrait style headshots, but also I really like using it for product photography. So a lot of people will take macro shots, maybe bugs and certain things like that. But for me, I personally prefer product shots with the macro lens. Pairing that alongside my RF 50mm 1.2, which by the way, I've talked about in another video, those two lenses combined together are like a perfect combo for like the product type of photography that I do. Furthermore, um, the 100 millimeter RF actually comes with this brand new control ring, which if you look carefully, it says spherical aberration or SA control. So it has a minus and a plus. And what that does, it actually controls the bokeh of the image, rather making it more sharp for the plus or more of a softer tone, kind of like a vintage style on the minus. So it's really a personal preference in regards to your prerogative. However, I like to keep it in the middle because I really don't tamper with that much depending on my style of what I'm doing at that moment. But you know, it saves you on a couple filters such as like, you know, diffusion filters. The RF 100mm macro has a very similar build to the original EF counterpart. Um, it has the focus limiter, the AF manual autofocus, and the stabilizer modes. So these ones right here. So it has, you got your limiter mode, autofocus, manual focus switch, and your stabilizing modes. So with that, you have so much diversity with this lens, pairing that with that spherical operation and just all that different stuff. This is actually clocked in at 5.5 stops of image stabilization. And pairing that with the R5, R, uh, R6, R6 Mark II, and even the up and coming R5 Mark II and R3, R1, whatever, um, this lens then gets you eight stops of image stabilization. Another thing I'd like to talk about too is the control ring. All the RF lenses have this control ring, which I really like. Listen to that. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can tell you right now, it's one of the most satisfying clicks I've ever used. Having this as a customizable feature is something that I quite enjoy for ISO, or you can even use it for white balance and God knows what else in the camera. One last thing I'd like to talk about in regards to this awesome lens is the fact that this lens has a new focusing distance as opposed to its uh, predecessor of the EF lens. The focusing on the EF lens has a 1 to 1 macro ratio. This one has a 1 to 1.4 macro ratio, which means you can punch an even Further, which I believe from the sensor of the camera is about a foot distance from your subject. That is incredible. It's, in, it's exceptional. Insanity, if you will. Um, so basically, this lens overall is a massive bargain. On top of all that, too, it's weather sealed like crazy based on the mount. I know you can't see it here, but let's see if I can get it really close there. All right. Watch the focus. That black ring that's right around it. That is the weather sealing gasket that goes all the way through and it's on the switches and all the rings inclusively. So you can be shooting and pouring rain with this while getting like that beautiful detailed macro shot or even like I said as a portrait lens depending on how you want to shoot with it and you're going to get stunning photos all around. In fact, some of the photos I'm going to show you right now are actually from the 100mm macro up on the screen. 
And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, it has been my honor and pleasure to do yet another video. I'm sorry it's been so late. Uh, it's been I've had a lot going on my plate. There's some new stuff coming up, new projects that I've been actually involved in, and uh, we'll be talking about that later in future videos. But uh, as of right now, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to uh, follow me on social media if you, have, if you ever find me on social media. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.